award-winning culinary memoir, Siren's Feast and Edible Odyssey. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make pinto beans and rice. Uh, one thing about cooking pinto beans is, uh, of course, they have to be soaked overnight. You can you can buy them in a can if you like, but it's it's really good to get the dry pinto beans, uh, soak them overnight, and cook them. They take about an hour when they've been soaked overnight. Now there is a faster way to do that, and that is by pouring boiling water over the washed pinto beans. They plump up really fast and you don't have to wait overnight. You can cook them if you're in a hurry. So that's what I did with these pinto beans. Uh, they cooked for about an hour and remember don't salt them until you're finished cooking. That's really important because if you do can toughen them up and they can take forever. So what I'm going to do today is kind of a little, we're going to mix the southwest with the south. In the south they eat a lot of red beans and rice and we're mixing pinto beans from the southwest with rice. So I did cook up some long grain white rice and we're going to start here with um, two tablespoons of olive oil. And when that's heated we're going to heat that olive oil up. I'm going to add one chopped onion. So we're going to saute these onions for a few minutes. It takes about three or four minutes until they get nice and tender. To this we're going to add, uh, depending on how much you like garlic, I happen to like it a lot, so two or three cloves of minced garlic. We're just going to continue to, to saute those together. The next thing we're going to add is one diced green bell pepper. It, it's going to add a really nice color to those pinto beans. And those will take an additional, just keep stirring and sauteing for an additional two or three minutes. And when the green pepper is tender, we're going to add three medium-sized diced tomatoes. We're going to add some black pepper. And a little salt. And then we're going to travel back to Louisiana and we're going to add some Cajun seasoning. So this is the spicy part. You can omit this if you don't like the heat. But around my house, everyone likes it nice and spicy. And there's nothing like, I don't know if you've ever been to Louisiana, but boy, they sure have a lot of spice and chili there. And New Orleans has some of the best food in the world. So this cooks, this takes about no more than 10 minutes to put this together once you've cooked your beans. And you can cook your rice while the beans are cooking. And you see this is making a really nice sauce. So we're going to add this. Now we're going to add our beans. That is about uh, four cups of cooked pinto beans, which is two cups of dried beans. So for whatever your recipe calls for, remember that it's going to double. The beans will double in size. If you start with two cups of dried beans, you're going to end up with four cups of cooked beans. Those look really beautiful. I can't wait to dig into that. So when those are done, you serve the beans on top of the rice. And that's how you make pinto beans and rice. Thank you.